It's estimated roughly 180 million Americans make their way to the beach each year. And while there's only a handful of deaths from shark attacks during that time, spurred on by movies and stereotypes, the perception of sharks as terrors of the deep and mindless man-eating machines still persists. Ocean Ramsey wants to change that. If you're looking for her, this is where she'll likely be, studying, swimming with, and getting very close to sharks all around the world. Let me just begin by asking a little bit about kind of what it is you do. We go out every single day to collect data on sharks, and we actually get to take people out with us to teach them about the biology, physiology, behavior, and body language of sharks. Sharks and their conservation are ocean's passion. The vastness of the deep blue, her second home. What's the biggest misconception about sharks? A lot of people think that if a shark swims past you, that it's going to come up to you and it's going to eat you. And that's what's so great about bringing people along with us, is they get to see for themselves what sharks are really like. And you're going to experience that very <laughs> quickly here. A huge part of that is just getting them in the water. For Ocean, the best way to protect sharks is to teach people about them. And the best way to do that is to get in the water with them. So after a quick safety lesson, avoid murky water, minimize splashing, and most importantly, keep your eyes in the water, looking around at all the sharks, and especially if they're coming up close, you want to give them extra eye contact. Don't turn your back to any of them. Definitely a little bit nervous. That's a natural human reaction. So you're going to be floating 300 feet of water, surrounded by sharks. And then it was time to take the plunge. Most people are obviously terrified about sharks. Why shouldn't they be? They shouldn't be afraid of sharks. They should be afraid of a world without sharks. Sharks are so important for the health of the ocean. They keep diseases from spreading. They keep fish stocks healthy. They keep coral reefs healthy, seagrass beds healthy. It's so important to have sharks. This is free diving. No oxygen and no cages. And because of the strong current, and of course the sharks, the rule is to hang on to the boat until ocean gives us the okay then die. Able to hold her breath for minutes at a time, Ocean seemed to be able to summon the sharks almost at will. Within minutes, there were nearly a dozen large Galapagos circling. Swimming towards these eight and 10 foot sharks was one thing, holding my breath long enough to get close to them, quite another. So we let them come to us. Over and over, sharks nearly double my size calmly swam around, beneath, and near me. Curious, but not aggressive, including MJ, a Galapagos more than 10 feet long. When the shark attacks do happen, and I know they're incredibly mm -hmm. rare, is a shark hunting a human, or is it a mistake? A thousand percent it is not hunting humans, meaning that they're definitely trying to go after their natural prey items. They've been evolving for over 450 million years before dinosaurs, before trees. Humans have only been evolving for around 200,000 years. We're not on their menu. It's incredible, it's just amazing how many sharks in just a short little area, how quickly and curious they are. And they're big. <laughs> the ocean's most feared predator, but perhaps also its most misunderstood. This was certainly an experience of a lifetime, and I can admit I was a bit scared at times, but it was certainly worth it. And we just want to highlight what to do if you are in the waters where sharks may be. We're told you should always look around. Awareness is key. If you see a shark heading toward you, to look at it directly. Don't frantically swim away. And of course, don't go swimming with sharks on purpose unless you're with an expert. They are apex predators. Guys, back to you. I mean, it looks so calming, but yet it's kind of counterintuitive because you're swimming with sharks. Right. Do you know what I mean? Miguel, you did it, yes. for, you did it for work. Would you do it again on your own? Uh, I'm not sure. I think once was enough, Craig. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Miguel, it's a beautiful Alvin, assignment. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Miguel. And again, you Shark bet, Week begins on Discovery on Sunday night, and we'll have more on sharks for you next week on Today as well. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.